crafters, my name is Tina from Victoria Designs and if you've always dreamt of going to Paris or of making a Paris memory journal, I have the perfect kit for you, the dreamy Paris kit. Just looking at this kit makes me want to go back to Paris and eat nothing but croissants and macaroons. With these principles, Marina made a tutorial for a mini album with extra envelope pages. Of course, if you want to use other principles from our shop to make this project, that's absolutely possible. And of course, you can use the principles from this kit to make many other craft projects. This is just one idea. Now, first there will be a flip through of the mini album and some of the principles. And then Marina will show you how she made this project. If you'd like to see more of Marina's beautiful crafts and tutorials, go check out their channel. The link is below. And if you would like to make this project or other craft projects with the beautiful papers of this dreamy Paris kit, you can get more information in our Etsy shop. There's a link below for that as well. And now here's Marina. She will show you everything. Enjoy. Today's project is a mini book that you can use it as a journal or as a mini album. It is so beautiful, so elegant and decorated with gorgeous digital papers by Victoria Designs. Hello everyone, it's Marina here and I have prepared for you today an easy and interesting tutorial. This is a mini book that measures 4.5 by 5.5 inches or 11.5 by 14 centimeters. It has a lot of pages and envelopes, which means a lot of space to keep notes and stick your pictures as well. It is decorated with digital papers by Victoria Designs using the new release Dreamy Paris. You will find the link for this amazing Dreamy kit down below in the description box. So, back to the project. As you already have seen, this book is adorable in an affordable size to take it also with you in a travel, uh, at work, and the steps to make it are really easy. It has pockets created by the embellishments from the kit, envelopes for extra room to keep photos, tickets and uh, anything else you wish for. Here are some tickets that I decided to use them as a mini accordion booklet, but you can choose, of course, to cut them separately and use them in a different way. After all, it's your project and you have your own ideas on how you can decorate it. I just give you some more ideas on how you can take advantage of the embellishments of the kit instead of sticking them on the paper. A quick flip through on the kit. I printed all the papers on an A4 200 GSM weight or 120 pounds, but you can use 160 GSM or 60 pounds as well. Whatever it works better for you. I used my Epson Echo Tank printer to print them, and to have the best quality result, I used Epson Photo Quality Inject Paper. I printed some papers on both sides because on the project it is really useful to have both sides printed.
So let's begin building the pages of the book. First we have to create the envelopes and for that we are taking our paper trimmer and cut in total 6 pieces 7 and 5 eighths of an inch or 19.5 centimeters. To make the envelopes we need papers on both sides printed. So now we are going to create the envelopes and for that process we need a punch board. I am using 1 to 3 punch board but we are memory keepers. We are going to make the first punch here that says 3 and a half. In this step we must be very careful here and if the paper has a pattern on it like this particular then we have to rotate it 90 degrees on the left and make the first punch. Then I am going to use the envelope score line A and I am going to score all the way down. Then I am going to rotate the paper 90 degrees and match up my score line with that first notch on the left hand side. Then you repeat the process until you've done all the corners. So match up your previous score line with that first notch and punch down again. Then you can round the corners or leave them as they are. We repeat the same process on all the papers. I burnish well with a bone folder all the scoring lines. After we've done with the scoring, we are going to create the envelopes. We are going to make a spine for the album that uh, can hold all the pages stuck down in the left side. If we close the envelope like this, we end up having on the back of it an upside down pattern and we don't want this. Now we are trying to form the envelope always remembering to look on the back side of it just to be sure that we have uh, a right pattern on the back side of it. Like this. I am using double sided tape on these parts but you can use any type of glue works better for you. Of course you can use so many other papers with less complicated patterns. Maybe some solid ones. But uh, I chose to have the solid ones printed on the inside of the envelopes. We are going to stick the side on the spine so when we flip this we see a right pattern on the back. Here I'm trying to see how I am going to close the envelope. I am trying like this. I flip this to look on the back. We are okay. So I glue this as it is.
Now we have to cut 10 pieces 5 and 1 quarter by 4 and 3 eighths of an inch or 13 by 11 centimeters. You can either have them printed on both sides or on single side. Also we need 15 pieces, 5 and 1 quarter by 1 inch, which I am going to score all of them at half an inch. I burnish well. On the mountain side we put double sided tape. And now we take the scissors and cut the edges in an angle, like this. Now we are taking all the pieces in order to assemble the book. We begin assembling the album with an envelope. We continue with a single sheet and another one. The order is envelope, single sheet, single sheet, envelope, single sheet, single sheet, etc. It's super easy and funny process and of course you can use liquid glue to stick them together instead of double sided tape as I did. The truth is that I recommend to use a small amount of liquid glue just to be able to manage the mistakes. I think that's a better way to put them down. Now we are ready to make the covers. For that we need two pieces of medium chipboard about 1.5 cm thickness, 4.5 by 5.5 inches and as a spine I am using two scrap pieces 1 inch by 5.5 and glue them together to be more sturdy.
I am using fabric to wrap my covers because I want some texture on my project. I am going to use a T ruler or this one just to make sure that I will stick them down straight. Uh, well, we use this tool to measure the gap between the covers and the spine, uh, but in my case it works perfect like a T ruler. I leave a small space, about uh, 2 mm. Our mini book is ready to decorate it. I am going to show you now what I did. 
Some papers were single-sided printed, so I decided to cover them by taking a piece of cardstock and use this as a big pocket to cover the back side which was white. I simply used a rounded object, I traced a line, cut it with the scissors and create a beautiful end of the paper. But of course this can be much easier if you have a circle punch. I am using some foam pads to give a little dimension. Well, I'm not going to show you all the decoration part because it's quite big and besides it's up to you how you love to put the bits and pieces inside your book. I am using this embellishment as a pocket here and I put glue in this way to create the pocket. That was the tutorial for today. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye!